Hi, it's Daps and welcome to this YouTube channel. I'm super excited to have you join me in this tutorial. And in this one, I want to show you how you can clone any website and then you can deploy that website to Netlify. Netlify is a platform where you can upload static websites. So this means you don't need to worry ahead about where to host your website or how to make it live. I will show you exactly how to deploy it to Netlify in this tutorial. So without further ado, I think we should get started into these tutorials immediately. Uh, so right on my screen here is dev.dabs2.com. It's just a random website here that I want to use for tutorial purpose. So you can see this is what exactly what this website look like right now i just want us to clone this website and on this youtube channel over the time i've talked about quite a number of platforms for you to clone your website uh, if you want to clone online without using any software or any tools i've talked about a tool like save web to zip so if you go to save web to zip.com as you can see on the website here you can just come down here you can paste uh, the url here and then hit the save button uh, this will save the web url this is not going to clone the entire website it's just going to clone that url alone that web page so i have also mentioned a tool uh called toolsberg so this tool is quite very very fantastic with the click of a button it will help you clone a website so you just need to paste your url here and then you can select a type you can use it free for a page and also free up to 50 pages and then you can start paying for 50 pages plus but one of the not a good part of this tool is that they have very few server resources there are times that you come here you paste in your url and this would not respond to you maybe the server is not too good or the server is too busy at the time so that's the not too good part of this tool it's a fantastic tool if it's working so i'll also leave the link to these are two tools in the video description you can check them out if you want to have more control and you want to do more heavy cloning i would always recommend you install a software into your pc i have talked about softwares like ht track in time past and also sciotech i also have dedicated tutorials to that on this channel i will leave them in the video description so for the purpose of this example we will not be using all of this method here i want to show you something inbuilt you have into your computer that can help you literally clone any website and that is also using a command prompt it might sound very technical but i will show you how super simple and easy this method can be so if you're using a windows uh, computer this might need an extra step but if you're using a linux or you're using uh, a mac it will be literally very simple wget my work for you on the go without needing to install any software to your computer but like i said if you're using a windows computer you might just need to download uh the application and then you can save it on your desktop something more like this right here you can see this uh, wget exe here and that's the only thing i need to do i just need to download this and have this on my computer uh, so after this i can then launch my command prompt i'll also put a link to this download in the video description you can check it out i also have a dedicated tutorial that i've done on this channel before that I'll walk you through this process of uh, installing wget and using all of those tools but i think this is pretty pretty super easy to do uh, so you can just go to your computer and search for command prompt and open it up if you have an interface like this this is super simple and easy to do because i'm using windows and i have wget on my desktop i can just easily call up uh, this to fetch that i can just say cd desktop and i'll hit the enter button and then i will do wget and i'll hit the enter button so you can see this has been able to fetch the wget and right now the only thing we need to do to clone any website is just use a prompt uh, so this prompt here is what i've pasted here i would leave this prompt in the video description you can also check that out it's super simple you just need to do wget then space hyphen mpek then the url you want to clone and that's literally everything and then you can hit the enter button and then you can see uh, WGET is trying to make contact to a server and is trying to download this. And that's literally everything we want to do here. This might take some time depending on how heavy the website you're trying to clone is. But you want to give this time to uh, crawl the pages and then have it done. All right, so fantastic. This uh, crawl is done, and we can see that uh, WGET had been able to crawl our website and download every of our files. You can see here, if I scroll up, quite a lot of things that happen here. I don't really want to waste time trying to show you that. I think the next thing we're going to do now is to close our command prompt. 
and then we can go check up uh, downloaded files. Come down to my computer right now, so you can see from here right now, I now have this uh, URL here, dev.dabstool.com, and that's the same website we just cloned. I can open this up right now, and then you can see, because it's a WordPress website, you can see that I have quite a number of things here, from my blog, category, comment, contact, feed, you can see all of those things, even my WP content, if I open this up, you should be able to see my plugins and the themes and the uploads that I've made to that website. So if I come to plugins, I should be able to see the list of the plugins that are there. You can see Astra site and Ultimate Add-on for Gutenberg. It's quite a robust clone and this is quite very, very beautiful. So let's come back here and from here, we would be able to come down here and see our index.html, which is our home page. And if we open this up, we will have the same website we have here uh, on this live website in our local machine and we can see this is the same website here and i think this is super 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 amazing <laughs> isn't this super super cool just in case you're asking the question what if you want to change this website you want to make edit to it you want to change the text you want to do things I have a step-by-step -step tutorial that cover that. I always recommend that people should use Blue Griffon. So I will leave a link to Blue Griffon in the video description. You can see how super easy it is for you to customize this website before you upload it to a live website. So that's super simple and easy to do. The next thing for us to do right now is to deploy this website to Netlify. So you can just come to uh, netlify.com. So right here, what we want to do is for us to sign up and we can just come up to sign up here. We can sign up with GitHub, with GitLab, or just sign up with our email, which is preferable for me right now. So after that, you can see here, it says check your email for you to find an instruction in your inbox for you to verify your account. So right now, let's open up our email to get that done. So we have an email here just zero minutes ago. It says you're nearly there. Verify your email. So let's just hit this verify email button. You can see our email is now verified, so now we need to put our first name here and our last name. These are required, so let's do that. And how your plan of using Netlify, you can just say you want to use for personal stuff, school, whatever it is that works for you is fine. Well, for me, I'm choosing personal. What kind of site do you want to build first? You can just, maybe something else, whatever it is. What are you building? Project name, I can just call this DAPS tutorial. Uh, what best describe your role, a freelancer, hobby developer, whatever it is, name your team. Uh, I can just leave this as is and I can just go to continue to deploy. So you can see here, deploy your first project. Uh, I can just easily skip this step for now. And that's it. This will bring us to this dashboard here. We can start our project here. So right now you can just come down here. You can see you can start with GitHub or you can start from a template or you can just deploy manually. And from here, we are just going to select uh, the files that we downloaded. So I'll click this. From my desktop here, I can just come to my folder here and I can just upload this. Yes, let's upload this. And that's uploading and it says, please do not refresh. In some few seconds, you say deep loss success, you can just get started. And just like that, if we come down here, we can see we have our website here. So if I click this right now, I should be able to come to that site here. And this is the URL for the website. So if I open it up, I now have my URL live on Netlify. And I think this is super, super, super cool. So from this website here, live right now, I've been able to clone it. And I have it live here. So you can begin to use this literally for free. And that's the amazing part of using Netlify. It's quite very free for you to use. You can easily deploy apps or website here. And I think this is super, super amazing. As a matter of fact, in my next tutorial, I should be showing you how you can deploy your WordPress website here. Netlify basically supports a static website, but I'll show you exactly what you can do to your WordPress website to make it live here. And I think that's super amazing. You should check out for that tutorial. Uh, so that's everything we want to do here. So we can come back here. Uh, so let's say we are not comfortable with this URL here. You just want to have a custom URL for your website. So what do you want to do? Uh, this is a name you cannot even pronounce and then .netlify.hub. 
Uh, the easiest way to do that is for you to use a custom domain and then we can come just down here to domain management and let's launch this up. We can add a domain name. So if you click this option here, you can easily put a domain name here and then verify it. Uh, so the question is how do you get a domain name? I would always recommend that instead of you using a Netlify.hub domain name, you can easily come to Namecheap and get a domain name for less than a dollar sincerely so let's say for example you search for a domain like dabs broke dot site for example and then let's search for this domain name so you can see that this domain name is available and we can buy it literally for less than a dollar and how super amazing is this so right now on Namecheap, I already have a .site domain name here that I might just literally want to use to show you how to connect this domain. So now let me sign in into my Namecheap account. So from here, if I come down here, you see I have dabstoots.site.com. I can just easily come to manage. So from here, I can just copy my site first. And then let's come back to Netlify. And let's paste this domain name here. And let's verify this. Our site has already been registered, but we can still have this domain name to change our DNS. And that's exactly what we want to do. So let's add this domain. There's an awaiting external DNS. Uh, we can come to options here and then let's set up Netlify DNS. From here, let's hit the verify. And then we can see from here that we can update your domain name server. So these are the name servers we want to copy. So let's copy this one. This is just one, this is two, this is three, this is it's the same name entirely. Uh, so now let's come back to name chip here and then let's come here to a uh, name server. So here we want to change this to a custom uh, name server. So for our name server one, we're going to paste that here. For our name server two, let's paste the same thing and let's change one to two. And we can still add another one uh, to make it three. And then another one to make it four. But most times, just a one or two is always enough. But why not? Since we have up to four, let's use all of them. And once we are done here, we want to eat this uh, green tick here to save this. If you don't do that, uh, you've not really updated your name servers. And so we have this done here. So now let's come back here and let's eat the done button. So you're seeing here that it could not provide the less encrypt uh, certificate i don't know why this is showing here but i want to believe this is an error uh, but let's come back here so we can see it's still seeing awaiting uh, netlify dns uh, what i can do is just to refresh this and let's see uh, error here is gone here so it's waiting on dns propagation so uh, this means that our domain is propagating and we want to give this some time to fully fully propagate but in the meantime here, we can just uh, even just check this site out and let's see. So you can see here, this is still propagating. So we're going to give this some time to finish up. And we can come back here. Another thing you can still do while our domain is propagating is for you, in case you don't have a custom domain name that you want to use, you can change this one by coming up here and edit this site name. So you can see, you can change this name here from something that I cannot pronounce, to whatever you want to use. But again, note that whatever you put there will still end at .netify.hub. So it's still not a custom domain name, but at least it's better than using this name here that you don't know how to pronounce. So, but as it for this, I can just easily just cancel this and we wait for our DNS to propagate. I don't know how long this will take, uh, but one of the things we can do is for us to use a tool called DNS Checker. I love that. DNSChecker.org can just paste my domain name here and then I can change this to NS, which is name servers, and I can search. You can see that our name servers is still pointing to our old server and not the new name servers that we just used. Uh, let me just accept this so that this can get away. Uh, so we're going to just give this some time to really, really, really propagate. Okay, so after waiting for some few seconds, I want to check this again. And I can see here that this is already propagating in some places. Uh, so if I scroll down, so you can see here, this is propagating here uh, in Amsterdam. Uh, this is good. So now let's come back here. 
this is already uh, verified here and there's a green tick here so if we come down here so you can see let's encrypt SSL ready for our website too as well I think this is beautiful so now let's come to our website right now and now what we want to do is to refresh this hopefully this should work we now have our website right now live on dabstoot.site so if you find this video very useful give me a thumbs up if you have any issues whatsoever do let me know in the comment section I'll look out for them and that's my time for this tutorial I would see you in another one and until then Stay safe.